Well, hello and welcome back. Yes, it's 2023's first show on Thursdays with Annette. And I'm so excited to be donning my apron again, back in my favorite place on the planet, and that's my kitchen. And I've got some great recipes planned for this year for you. And the theme I wanna go with is simple, 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 because that's what we want. And this recipe is a good example of that. And it's out of the More Cooking for One or Two, which is my new book, um, well, newish book, which I love. And I'm making this one here, Simple Snags. I know, who doesn't love sausages? And it's taken me to the ninth book to be able to work out how to do a low fat sausage, I've got to tell you. It was a challenge, but I love this recipe and if you haven't tried it, I'm excited. Now, even though it's in the cooking one or two, you make uh, enough for two people in this. You just need to multiply how many, if it's for four people or six, you either double or triple. It's very easy to do that, okay? So what we need for this recipe is some breadcrumbs. And they're just the normal breadcrumbs you buy in the supermarket. You want three tablespoons. And this is the thing, when you're making out of the cooking one or two or the more cooking one or two, the ingredients are quite small because you're not making for a, a thousand people. And for us little empty nesters like me and Billy, and Billy's back behind the camera. So thank you, Bill, for being here again for another year. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so back to the recipe. Breadcrumbs, three tablespoons. The skim milk, it's three tablespoons. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that into the bowl with the milk and what will happen is it will just mix up and firm up and this is going to help with the sausages and helps hold them together. It also spreads the, the meat a bit so it's not just relying on meat and I question whether there's actually <laughs> in normal sausages, is there any meat in them? I wonder. So let's go to the soapy sink and put these in so I can wash them up later. Now, what we're also gonna put in is 200 grams of really lean pork mince. Now, you could do beef mince or um, chicken mince if you wanted, that's up to you, okay? So the mince you can change. But for this recipe and the fat count, I'm using pork. And you'll see it's quite pink, and that's because it's all meat. It's very little fat in it, so look for those really lean uh, minces. We've got 100 grams of sausage mince. It's a sausage. You've got to have sausage mince in it. I've got garlic because, you know me, I put garlic in everything. And if I'm still using this little jar one because I love it. It's simple, and that's my theme for this year is simple, simple, simple. But you can crush up and do your own fresh garlic if you wish. I've got some dried rosemary and that just lifts the flavour of the sausages so they're really quite flavoursome and people that have tested it for me and they're normally quite hard critics, they all came back with 100% fabulous on this recipe. I'm also going to put a teaspoon of the Massel beef stock powder in and a little bit of pepper. I've got my cooking spray and I've got my ever faithful, I'm sorry, I know I should throw them out but I can't. They are just the best trays. And sometimes you need smaller trays than the bigger ones because everything's big these days. And in putting this under the grill, this is the perfect size for it. So I'm sorry it might look a bit manky, but it's very well loved. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put my gloves on today because I don't want that meat getting under my nails. I've taken my rings off, so that's no problem. But I just think it makes it easier to do it this way. And thank you so much for joining me again. My gosh, we had such a great uh, holiday over Christmas. Lots of visitors, lots of family, friends, fantastic. It's just so good to be back doing what we do though. And what I love to do is to cook for you each Thursday. So this is a simple recipe, okay? You're gonna put the mince in, put in the sausage mince, put in half a teaspoon, of garlic, let's move my little spoon one down to half. Then you're gonna put in half a teaspoon of the dried rosemary. Oh, actually, this is a new bottle. Um, just one moment, please, let me fix this. Oh, let me get a knife. Billy, you were supposed to fix this for me. That's not a good start. I mean, you might not get paid as much this week. <laughs> Okay, he may not even get paid, but that's okay. 
So half a teaspoon of the dried rosemary. Okay. I love it. First show back and I'm already buttering up. But that's okay. Teaspoon of the Massel beef stock powder. All right. So that's the ingredients. And I'm going to put away my wooden spoon and I'm going to get in and really squish this all up together because you really want to combine the two different meats really well. And remember, this is just for two people and I'm going to make six sausages. And that way you get three each. And interesting, when I was doing my research before the show on the, the sausages you normally buy, um, the fat count is, is the biggest issue with sausages because I think they pump a lot of fat into them. But let me put my grill on. Let me put my grill on. And I want to put a little bit of pepper in as well. Fantastic. Because you grill them under the grill. Now you could fry them, you know, put them in a non-stick pan. Like one of these great pans would be fantastic because they're non-stick. But you'd have to watch and have it a fairly low temperature so you didn't burn the, uh, the edges of the sausage. But today I'm doing it exactly as the recipe says and that is to grill them. All right, so, oh my gosh, snags, guilt-free sausages. Are you excited? <laughs> what I want to do is I'm going to weigh the mix and I'm going to divide it by six. Now, you could just cut in half and take a third of each. Just think, do it. I like to be exact. You know what I'm like. So let's weigh it. 366. So I want that divided by six. 61. And that's how much, Bill? 61. It couldn't be 60, could it? No. All right, so let's do it. 60. All right, so we're going to do this six times. And then I'm going to roll them into the sausage shape. Now, you could actually make them into patties. You know, you, you certainly, there's no rule about... Um, you know, that you have to be in a sausage shape. It's just, I love it because I'm, I don't eat normal sausages because they're just so high in fat. Um, so I've just kind of taken them out of my diet. And so this is a way of bringing it back in. And you know the other thing, I'm loving this for people with diabetes or anyone that has cholesterol problems, heart disease, you, know, you don't want the high saturated fats that are associated with um, sausages, that's for sure. And we're doing great. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, good counting in it. <laughs> All right, so now what I want to do is I want to roll them out. Actually, I'll get my little, my little manky tray. Spray it with some cooking spray. So I've got them here to put straight in as we go. Now I want the sausage to be around 12 centimetres. All right? So that's where my little rule is here. That looks good. There's my first sausage. <laughs> it's fun to make them, isn't it? And you don't get the skin, um, you know, which, you know, you don't need that anyway because the way I do it, it cooks up beautifully. Once you've got the twirl, just sort of tidy them up. And there's just, I love the fact that I've made my own sausages. Yeah, imagine that. And they freeze really well. They can freeze for months. So, you know, that's good. There's another sausage. Try and sort of keep them similar length if you can. I mean, but it'll work out how you want it to. And remember, you can change it from the pork mince to you could do the chicken or the beef mince would be very nice as well. I wouldn't kind of probably do lamb um, only because it's just 
so much fattier. So, uh, you know, for, for good health, I would be inclined to go with those meats. And look, we're very excited about what's to come on the show. I've got some really good ideas and I'd love to hear your feedback of if there's anything you would like to see on the show. We did get some great suggestions um, when I put a post up and um, someone asked, they've asked for a couple of things and I've included them in the program this year. So look out if you made a request to see if you actually are getting what you asked for. Look, there's our snags. Beautiful. Love it. Give it a spray on the top. Under the grill. There we go. Now, that's probably going to take a little while to cook. So while I'm checking it, I might just chat to you for a minute because I am very excited because my next weight loss challenge starts on the 13th of February. Oh my God, so excited. I'm calling it the end of summer challenge. And I'm super excited because it's going to be an epic six weeks. Now, if you want help, you know, this is what I'm here for, aren't I? I mean, yes, I can help you with recipes, but if you need help and support or some guidance on your weight loss journey, then come on board, let me support you because sometimes that's the key, is having some support. You know, you don't have to do it on your own. Now, you're gonna get weekly menu plans that I've created myself, and you get all the nutrients you need, like the calcium. Uh, you're gonna have a fat count and a calorie count. I look at the fiber count. So you're really eating a healthy diet and you will feel so fantastic on it. You're also gonna get the videos, emails from me all the time, plus you get access to me directly um, via email. And there's also our fabulous, caring and supportive, um, fabulous Facebook group that you can join as a member. Now, look, if you have gained weight over Christmas and New Year, um, maybe now is the absolute perfect time to take hold of it and get back on track. And uh, if you want some more information about the program, then go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership. I'd love to be your mentor and support you and it starts soon. Um, and when you join, you pay for eight weeks. So you not only get the six week challenge, you get another two weeks before um, you need to make a decision whether you continue on or not. And I mean, that's what's fantastic. Now I'm just gonna have a look at my sausages and just see where they're at. All right, so I'm gonna give them a turn now. And what I'm gonna do, see I'm just turning them. I'm gonna come back here in just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna give it, it's probably gonna take about five, 10, maybe not even 10 minutes, but five minutes to cook them. Can I come back and then I'll show you uh, them when they're finished. All right, and we've got lots more to talk about. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, welcome back. I've made up a little bit of salad while um, I was waiting and let's get the sausages out. They didn't take too long to cook actually, so I was watching them because uh, they, um, they cook up fairly quickly. So there's, there's my six sausages, all cooked and fabulous. So I'm just going to Give my three to me. There we go. Put them over here. So there are my simple snags from More Cooking for One or Two. Now, if you want to win the book, More Cooking for Two, because I yes, I'm going to continue doing giveaways this year, and I might even be more generous this year than ever before. So you need to stay tuned. But if you want to win that book, then all you have to do is like, share, and in the comments. Can you remember from last year? It's not that long ago, was it? Hashtag simply too good with a Y, with a two. Hashtag simply too good. And I'll round it with three fantastic people who will win their own personally signed copy. Now, if you want any more recipes or tips, go to simplytogood.com.au. And don't forget, the mentoring program starts on the 13th of February. So don't miss out. That's simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership sign up now and let's get you healthy and fabulous i mean when you look at this who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy when you think 13 grams of fat for my three snags and i will be putting tomato sauce on them i'm an aussie 
And traditional sausages are probably, for one, just one sausage, about 18 grams of fat. So as I said, fantastic for weight loss, good health, well-being, and I'm excited. Next week, it's all about Valentine's, um, and I said to Bill, what do you want me to make you for Valentine's, honey? And he said, do you have to ask? Wicked chocolate cake. That's right. It's out of book two, and I've also done a version of it in this book too. More cooking, I'll show you about that next week. But um, yes, book two, Wicked Chocolate Cake is happening next week. And I'm going to make it in the microwave. So I think you'll find, once again, quick and simple, that's what it's about. Thanks for joining me for our first show this year. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Set an alarm so you don't miss it. Take care. Bye now.